Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I did Reinhardt the Russian's intro. And this is going to be a multi-part tutorial. In the first part, I'm going to show you some very basic methods on how to bring your character into After Effects and make the character look better by using basic sharpening, color grading, and time remapping. Previously, I did a tutorial on how to get your character from WoW Model Viewer into After Effects. Check out that tutorial for some tips. Bring it into a new composition. I'm working at 1080, 30 frames per second. Right click on the clip, go to Transform, and Fit to Comp. Uh, that'll fit it to your 1080 composition. Next thing we're going to do in the effects, search for Key Light. Using the eyedropper tool, click on the background. Automatically keys out the green background but we need to clean it up a little bit, so I use the screen gain. Try deselecting unpre-multiply result. See how that works? Here it looks pretty good. Okay, here in the next part, I'm gonna apply some adjustment layers. The first effect I wanna do is sharpen the image. All right, so go to blur and sharpen. First, select sharpen. This one here, be careful, don't sharpen it too much. I'm just gonna use four. But here, the, the best sharpen effect is unsharp mask. This one is very important. I use it on all of my WoW footage. You can see the effect of sharpen is very clear. This time, let's apply a light. Go to layer, a new light. Make the color a little bit orange, and I want a little bit of an orange tint. Make sure that the character footage has the 3D layer selected. Okay, I'm gonna drag the light up. I'm gonna adjust the light, and by dragging this point up and down, I can, I can adjust where the light is pointing. All right, double click on the light to change the intensity, the angle, and some of these other settings so you get the lighting effect that you're looking for. All right, make sure fall off is selected. The top of the warlock is well lit and the light just fades off. I wanna get the fall off so that the feet are dark and the head is very bright. All right, next thing we wanna do, go up to layer and create another adjustment layer. This adjustment layer is gonna be for a twitch effect and I wanna add a little light flicker. There's many ways to add a light flicker. Just do a YouTube search for other ways to make a blink or um, a light flicker. You can actually do it without Twitch. Looking at the Twitch presets, I add blinking to this adjustment layer. Pull down this enable tab and deselect blur so just light is selected. This is kind of this is going to add to the scary effect as if there's like a light bulb that's blinking and it's about to go out or something. It might be like the flicker from a fire. All right, so here I'm going to reduce the amount a little bit to make it a little more subtle. And if I pull down operator controls, I can also reduce the light amount here. It's going to make the flicker look a little more natural. Now I want to bring in some fire embers. I made these fire embers using the plugin particular. Basically what I did was I created some solids and applied particular to the solids. I'm not going to show you how I made those. Uh, just do a search on fire embers and particular on YouTube and you'll see lots of tutorials for that. This step is optional. I'm going to do time remapping with Twixtor. Uh, I work with Twixtor a lot. I want to add some very fast motion and transition into a slow motion. In Twixtor, make sure you set the frame rate to match the frame rate of the footage. Uh, I'm going to set a keyframe at the very beginning for 300 speed. And I'm going to set the motion blur compensation to 0.5. As the warlock roars, he's kind of blurry, so it gives you the effect of a, a really fast motion. I'm going to set another keyframe for 300, move one keyframe over to the right, and set the speed down to 25. So as he starts his roar really fast, then it's going to drop to a slow motion. Now go to layer, add another adjustment layer. This time we're going to add some color grading. So this is kind of the last step. Drag the color grading down so it's below the embers. And remember that an, an adjustment layer affects all of the layers underneath it. I'm using looks for color grading. You don't need this plugin for color grading. You can do all of this in After Effects. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using a crush. I want to tint the color to a little bit of yellowish reddish, like the Warlock is in hell or something where there's a lot of fire. I also adjust the curves so that the Warlock looks very dark. All right, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. One last thing that I want to show you and how I use these effects in the final composition. So this is an example from Reinhardt's intro where in a new composition, I bring the Warlock effect in and then I want to transition into a different shot of the Warlock. And you can see how I do that here. Just some very simple cutting in After Effects. It just cuts from one frame to the other. And in this transition, each scene is like, like two or three frames. It gives kind of a glitchy transition effect. 
And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how I made the glass shatter and the, uh, the wall scratch. All right, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and you like my channel, please subscribe and please like. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you check out Reinhardt's channel and check out his intro. He's making, he's putting some awesome videos out and getting a lot of subscribers. Go check out his channel.